I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. Um, so if you could just kick off with a brief intro to this film, Emily, what can audiences expect, and particularly from your character, Branwell? Um, so it's, it's a film about Emily Bronte, obviously. It's a biopic about Emily Bronte. Uh, my character is Branwell. He's the brother. He was sort of the black sheep of the family. Ended up uh, dying from consumption, which was like alcoholism and, and opium addiction. Um, so... But, but the way it's been told is very kind of fresh, I feel. Even though it's true to the period, it's very well done in that it doesn't get caught up in the old tropes of making a period film. And of course, you know, people are probably very familiar with the Bronte novels from Wuthering Heights to Jane Eyre, but maybe you don't know so much about the people behind it. I mean, where did you begin with your research? Did you go back to a lot of the source material, rely on the script? Yeah, I mean, there's, um, there's not a lot out there about Bramwell because he was quite, because um, he was the black sheep and, and, and uh, yeah, wasn't as well known. But I managed to find a, uh, a quite a big book of his poems and his writing. Um, so I sort of relied on that and, and paintings and, and just accounts from the time, really just doing as much research as possible. Um, so yeah, just relied on that heavily, really. And obviously Francis, most people know her as a phenomenal actress and for a first time trying a hand as a writer and director, but this has been a long time in the making as well. What on earth is it like working with her? It must have been fantastic. It's brilliant, yeah. I mean, it's brilliant. I, I love working with uh, writer-directors in general. I think it's um, something about like, the enthusiasm and the passion, which is really infectious. And uh, with France, I mean, she just worked so hard. Uh, from start to finish, she never stopped. She was totally invested uh, emotionally as well, which is always really nice to be around. And she's an actress, so she sort of knows how to direct actors, I guess, yeah. What was it like being on set? Were you really at the mercy of the weather on the moors, but also just such, such a fantastic cast, you know, with Emma Mackey right at the centre? So what, what was your shoot like? It was brilliant, yeah. It was really good. Um, yeah, there was times we were at mercy of the elements massively. Um, for there's a scene, uh, well, I don't want to give anything away, I guess, but there, there was a couple of scenes where we were shooting in the pouring rain and it was really like the heavens had opened. Um, so, yeah. And what do you hope people take away from watching the film? I guess because it's kind of this combination of, of fact and fiction kind of capturing this rebellious spirit that, that Emily had. Um, and people will know a bit, you know, from Kate Bush's, you know, running up that hill, which been made famous again through Stranger Things. So it's like a whole new generation maybe discovering things about these writers they didn't know. Totally, yeah. I mean, I hope I hope it kind of uh, sparks people int people's interest in in the Brontes. I mean, I think people are quite quite obsessed with the Brontes anyway. But I, I mean, I hope that you know, for for younger people, that they get interested in it and it puts a sort of new take on the period genre. And can you tell us what you're going to be working on next after this one? Um, nothing at the moment. Um, I just finished filming Great Expectations, which will be coming out at some point. A remake of Great Expectations, written by Stephen Knight. Um, I'm not sure when that'll be out, but yeah. And in terms of your career, you've already done so much already. Do you have any particular directors or actors that you've really like burning to work with? Yeah, I mean loads. The list is pretty endless, to be honest. Um, I've always been a massive Ken Loach fan since I was a teenager. Um, Shane Meadows, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, I could go on and on, to be honest. The list is Paul Anderson. Like, there's, uh, there's plenty. And how do you see the cinema landscape right now? It feels like there's so many more opportunities for interesting stories, particularly with all the streaming platforms. How do you see uh, opportunities for you right now? Yeah, definitely. I think it's like a really exciting time for, for film. Um, I think it's just really important that people keep making stories that move people and uh, that they keep just, yeah, just just keep making film, basically. I think that's just the most important thing. Fantastic. Well, it was lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the evening. Thank you so much. Cheers.